and it's Chad Black with Haversham County Emergency Services. Today with the summer upon us, pools open, our recreational lakes open, we want to talk to you about how to prevent the tragic incident of a child drowning or in the case something does occur, what you can do to make a better outcome when those incidents occur. Kids are around, anytime anybody's swimming, especially kids, it should be the buddy system, at least two people swimming together, even for adults. We've had where medical issues can occur, and if someone's there with you, your chances are much better. But anytime children are around water, again, supervision and keeping an eye on them, you can't turn away for a minute. You've got, someone's got to be there physically watching them, and it even gets more when you have more children in the pool trying to keep an eye on them. They're underwater, you know, you have to watch to see that nobody's on the bottom as the child was found a couple of weeks ago here in Haversham County. So preventing it from happening and then understanding how to call 911, calling 911 and assuring someone has, and then learning CPR. Hey, my name is Jeff Adams. I'm the training officer with Habersham Emergency Services, giving you a little demonstration on uh, compression only CPR on an infant. So we found an infant that's been brought out of the pool. Paramedics are on scene. They're going to start doing the CPR assessment and the CPR of the, of the infant. It's important to know that, you, that someone needs to call 911 as quickly as possible and get EMS en route. Basically, all we're doing is compressions. Um, that's what we're, we're using to buy time until EMS can get here. There's a couple different ways we can do the compressions. We can do the two finger right over the uh, breastbone, or we can do it in circling hands technique um, where you use your thumbs and uh, do the compressions uh, to, to, to get them done that way. Dispatch, the 911 center can give you instructions over your smartphone, um, so have the phone with you handy, you can lay it right down, and the dispatcher can, can talk you through the appropriate sequence. Anytime uh, that you need something get, you know, for an emergency, if you'll dial the Habersham County 911 emergency system, it's just 911, and we answer at Habersham 911, where is your emergency? Because number one, if we don't know where you're at, we can't help you. So that's gonna be the first question we ask. And if you tell us that someone is drowning, First of all, we're going to get all the information that we need, such as how long have they been in the water, what is the age of that person, and then we're going to ask you if you want to start CPR, and we're going to walk you through actually how to do CPR based on how old that caller is. For an infant, it's much different than it is for an adult. We know everybody is uh, in the pools now, uh, as Chad has said earlier. Just be mindful of it. Uh, the parents never turn your back on a child because it, it could happen. Two inches of water is not a lot of water for somebody to drown in. And know that if you need help, don't wait. Call 911 and we'll get help to you as soon as we possibly can.